Hi, Professor Lomax. We're talking about new additions uh, connecting to the old houses. What happened here was there was no insulation on this wall. This was an old garage wall where there was no insulation. You could see there was no insulation right here. Follow what I'm saying? So me and my son, we went ahead and put R13 in behind the shower tub and so on and so forth. If you look right here, we put R13, there's R11 and R13 insulation that can go into a two by four wall, into a cavity. We chose R13, but you can see these pipes that are ran right here, right? So we had to squish it underneath the pipes. But when you do that, when you compress insulation, you, you don't get the full R value out of it. So that's the best we could do. The fluffiness of the, R, uh, of the insulation gives you the proper R value. So come on over here. We're showing another technique that we have to do. Another technique we have to do that we're not going to uh, cut into this wall right here. So there is no insulation on this wall right here. But we furred this, this one out right here. And what we're doing is we're going to put this R-Tech up. This R-Tech is a half an inch thick and it's rated at 3.5 five uh, R factor. It's not very much, but it is something. It should work out just fine because we have our six inch cavity right here where all our pipes come through here. And for time's sake on the video, we went ahead and pre-cut this. We could slide this up in there behind the pipes and so on and so forth. And slide that in. it all the way to the very top. We got, we get stuff some insulation over here. We stuff some there. And now we're gonna squish it over. You stall it into there, put some foam over there. And we'll tack it on with these little nails right here. Which I, these are real dangerous. Huh? So forth, now we got our R value and so on. So that's the tip of the day for insulation.